de bom que a gente está cá muito bem. Eu não vou ter que ser bom agora. Já é bem que se coube sem mais por esse tempo. Roy. Como está bem, Hilson? Veel mensen zeggen dat wij gewoon gek om worden hier zo'n paas gekleed wordt. Maar volgens de Bijbel, wij zijn, wij doen wat de Bijbel zijn. Wij doen wat onze vader zijn. En dat is onze mensen wakker maken. Kijk wat volgens de Bijbel zijn. Wat, wat de echte kleur is volgens de Bijbel van Jezus Christus. Dus ik uh, give me, yeah, Revelation 1 verse 2. Kun je dat? Dit is Revelation 1, chapter 13. Speak in the mic. And in the midst of the seven candles. Kan je een beetje Engels begrijpen? Oké. Okay. And in the midst of the seven, seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girt about Hello. the bab with the golden girdle. Forty, his head and his hair were white like wool. So we're gonna make it very short, right? John had a vision, right? The apostle John had a vision, right? He was seeing the description of Christ. It said he had a golden girdle, so he had on like a, a golden belt, and he was dressed in green. To make a long story short, let's find out the most important part, what color he is. Sisters, you there with the blonde hair. Sis, you there. Read. Listen to what the Bible says, read. This is Revelation chapter one, verse 14. Jesus like box Bible. And his head and his hair were white like wool. So the Bible says Jesus Christ's head, his, his head and his hairs were white like wool. This is fit and full of hair. Wool is a texture. Fit is a kleur. Dus nu, nu komt die vraag. Welke mens op aarde heeft wollig hair? Het is gewoon een simpele vraag. Je bemoeit niet. Je moet bemoeien, bro. Je moet bemoeien. Weet je waarom je moet bemoeien? Give me the raw, me 28 verse 16. Ik ga je wijzen waarom je moet bemoeien. Ik ga je wat vragen. Suriname en Antille, ik wil zeggen. Suriname en Antille, oké, goed. Kan jullie een beetje Engels verstaan? Oké, goed. You guys together? Oké, okay, goed. Listen to what the Bible says. Verse 28 en verse 68. 28 en 68. So, 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 according to the Bible, right? You see on the board here. Where is Curacao and where is Suriname? Where do you see Curacao and Suriname? You don't see them there, right? You know why? Because according to the Bible, God does not call you a Suriname. He does not call, which one of you is Suriname and which one of you is a... I've been Suri and I've been Anti. Okay. Do you know why you don't see Suriname and Curacao? It's because according to the Bible, your name is Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Simeon, Zebulon, go all the way down. Those people are Israelites according to the Bible, as you are according to the Bible. So, listen to what happened to us, how we got to this side of the world, because, long story short, we are the Israelites and we broke God's laws. What ended up happening to us is we went into slavery. Read it, listen to this. It's in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So bro, you say you take Bumuini, right? Listen to what the Bible says. Hey, sisters, listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So what does Egypt mean according to the Bible? What does Egypt mean according to the Bible? Exactly what, uh, brother. Who gave Jaina Surinam to go? How did you end up in Suriname, or your forefathers? How did they end up in Suriname? Okay. This is what the Bible says. So the Bible says, according, according to the Bible, it says we went into Egypt with ships. So now, the Israelites, if you know a little bit of history, the Israelites, which are us, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, we went into Egypt a time already. Now the Bible is saying again that we went into Egypt with ships. We did not go into Egypt a second time. Let's find out what Egypt means according to the Bible. It is Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So the Bible says, I am the Lord thy God. The Lord says, I am the Lord thy God. He picked, what's the nationality says? He 
will bring us out of all people upon earth. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So the Bible says, I, the Bible says that he picked us, he took us out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. According to the Bible, Egypt means bondage, slavery. So let's read it again from the top. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 16. That is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Bible says the Lord will bring us into Egypt again with ships because he broke God's commandments. So now, you guys just said that you two are together, right? Now, here as the priests of God, we are to tell you the truth according to God, not what everybody likes to hear, right? Let's start off with Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. 22 and verse 5, Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. God, because we're the Israelites, God gives us certain rules that we have to uphold. As blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, God put us above everybody. With that being said, we have to keep certain commandments. Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. So this is a commandment on how you dress. It is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear which pertaining unto a man. So the Bible says that a woman shall not wear that which pertaining unto a man. So women are not supposed to wear what men wear. That's what the Bible says. I didn't read, I didn't write that. You understand? Do you believe in the Bible? Do, do, do you trust in, do you believe in God? So the Bible says, God says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what do you have on, both of you have on that pertain to men? You don't know. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a question. It might be a little deep, but I'm going to ask you a question. When you go to, for example, let's say you go to the Burger King over there, right? And you want to use the bathroom, right? Which one of the two bathrooms will you use? Hmm? The frau. Okay, so that's a very deep question. I'm going to explain to you why. So you said you will use, you will go to the frau's bathroom, right? Right? You would do that. And you, with the, with the blonde hair. If you go to the Burger King over there, and you want to use a bathroom, which one of the two bathrooms would you use? Well, okay. How would you know the difference? Sorry? Yeah, but how can you tell? You can look, there's two, there's two people on each door. One is, is wearing something that's different than the other one. How can you tell the difference? Huh? The yurke, okay, so why would they put the yurke down? Why would they put it there? Because, read it again from top, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So I'm going to ask you again. I don't know how fast you are, but which, what, what do you have on that men wear? According to the Bible, men and women are not supposed to cross dress, right? The Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Look at all of us here as men. What do we all have on that you have on? The pants, the pants. The Bible says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now we'll ask another question. Is it okay for a man to put on what a woman has on? Yeah, you think so? Let's find out what God thinks. Because you think left, God thinks right. right. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you says you said that the man can put on what woman's wear, right? Let's see what God says. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a man should not put on a woman's garment. So men are not allowed to wear dresses. That's why if you go to the bathroom there, you will see a difference between the two genders. Now, I asked that question, I told you it was deep for a reason. She, you say you would go to the woman's bathroom, right? And you say you would go to the woman's bathroom. But aren't you two together? You think the Bible says that's okay? You, you think that that's okay, right? that in uh, Leviticus. Let's see what God says. Look, we're not here to 
because people think when people look at us, they think we're here to bash and curse people out. But let's see what God says about things. We are only the messengers. I know you, uh, let's look, I got cousins that are like, so when I see you, I see them. This is what I have to say. This is what we have to do. Leviticus, read up. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 22. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So I am a man, right? I am a male, right? The Bible gives me rules on how I must conduct myself. The Bible says, thou shalt not. The Bible speaks in a masculine form. I am, I am as a man, cannot lay with mankind. So I cannot lay with this brother according to the Bible. And I cannot lay with that brother according to the Bible. Even if I think it's okay, the Bible says what? From the top. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. Okay, so sister, did do you believe any of us wrote this book? No. So, who's speaking in this book? In verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying... So the Bible says, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying... Bring it up! No? Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. So the Bible says... We are not allowed to live. Men are not supposed to live with men, and women are not supposed to live with women. Whether right. you like it or not, Bring that's what the Bible says. Right. We didn't write that. Read. It is abomination. God said it's abomination. God hates that thing. Right. That's it's right. Abomination. Abomination is something that's nasty. Right. God hates that thing. Right. We just ask the both of y'all, which one of the bathrooms would you choose? Exaudi Maisha Kizun. The other Exaudi Maisha Kizun. And why are you together then? According to the Bible, God says it's an abomination. God Get does up. not deal with that. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.